This is a UCS C-Series video quick tip describing the process for booting C-Series standalone rack servers from USB. We're going to start out here by accessing our SIMC and opening a KVM console connection to our server and see that we're currently running Ubuntu on this particular server. Next we're going to go to the BIOS and we're going to take a look at the advanced tab. We're going to page down here and what we want to look at are the USB settings or the configuration for USB and BIOS. We see that all of our BIOS ports are enabled and this is the default. And this is important for being able to access the USB for installation of an operating system and then to boot from it as well. So next we're going to go back to our server and we're going to open up the virtual media tab on our KVM console and we're going to map an installer image for ESXi in this case so that we can start an install on the USB. So we map the drive and then we reboot the server. Now our boot settings here are to boot CD-ROM then hard drive so the, the virtual media is a CD-ROM, and it's going to load up the installer. As we go through here, the process of installation, it's going to scan for media where we can do the install. So here we see anything that's bootable or basically that we can install the media on, including all of the partitions from the Flex Flash, and we see a generic flash drive. A USB will typically show up as a manufacturer or generic flash drive device, and we can tell by the size what we're looking for here. So we're going to select that to do an install, and we'll go through the install process entering all the appropriate information. And now we're installing this onto the USB drive. After that's complete, we're going to reboot, and the server will start the reboot process going through the post. Now, we've not made any changes to the BIOS, so currently we're set to boot from the hard drive. We no longer have a mapping. We see a virtual drive there, and we come up and we're back in Ubuntu. So if we go to our BIOS settings from a boot order configuration standpoint, we see that we have the option for CD, hard drive, floppy drive, Pixie, and EFI. If we expand the hard drive, we'll see all of the USB devices here, including the flash, uh, the generic flash that we loaded our ESX on. Currently, we can't make configuration changes to second level boot order in the SIMC, so in order to make this persistent, we're going to have to go back and reboot the server, and as it boots up, we're going to enter F2 at the splash screen to enter the BIOS setup. Once we enter the setup, we're going to arrow over to the boot options, and at the bottom here, we'll see that there are hard drive, BBS, or BIOS boot setting priorities. So if we go down to these priorities for the hard drive, we see the, the boot options listed in the order that we want them to be chosen. Currently, we're using the LSI virtual drive, the LSI controller, and we want to change that to the generic flash drive, which is where we loaded our ESX. We'll put the hard drive as boot option 2 here, just so the um, flex file, or the USB isn't in or we want to take it out for some reason, we can boot back up into Ubuntu. We want to save these settings to BIOS and then reboot the server. Now when the server boots, it's going to go through the same process, but instead of grabbing the LSI virtual drive, it should grab the USB drive and boot ESX. So here we see that it grabs everything we expect and ESX starts to boot. So now our system is running from ESX and this will be persistent. For uh, more information, check out the following resources. And please follow me on Twitter at Mr. UCSC Series. Thank you.